Hi there, Chief Meteorologist Tom Sorrells from inside the New 6 Weather Center. What you're looking at is the tropics here. This first wave has about a 10% chance of developing in the next five days. I really don't see it doing much other than enhancing your rain chance over the weekend. Second wave is coming in behind it though. Wave number one there has kind of saturated the atmosphere and taken a lot of the Saharan dust out of the way. So I think wave number two has a better chance, less shear, a better shot at developing in the next five days. Could be a named storm outside the Lesser Antilles by Saturday into Sunday. Our rain today was the result of the east and west coast sea breezes colliding. That happened this evening. Continues to rain into the night, but the big rocking thunderstorms are over. But if you have puddling and ponding issues where you live, this rain has lingered a very long time. By 9 o'clock, it should mostly be into Polk County, and by 10 or 11, we're done. Overnight, no worries, but through the day tomorrow, we go right back to the East Coast setup. There it is by 2 p.m. tomorrow. There it is by 6 p.m., and then we calm for the overnight. Come Friday, very active again, but look at the rain pattern not only west of Orlando, but on top of Orlando, and from Orlando to the east into the afternoon on Friday. Daytime high tomorrow in Orlando goes to 92 with afternoon storms. Your rain chance is 40%. I'm News 6 Chief Meteorologist Tom Sorrells. I will see you tonight at 11 on News 6.